In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a couple of the important iCloud settings that you should have set up on your device. To get started, tap on Settings, and then scroll down on the left-hand side until you see iCloud. Now, you'll see here on the right, I'm already logged in as a test student. If you are not logged in, now is a good time to log in using your Apple ID or iCloud account. And if you do not have one or you forget it from last year, please create a brand new one and then log in using that account. So um, just a couple of things to point out. You will see an area here for storage. I have another tutorial if you run out of storage space throughout the year. Um, this is where you're going to want to go. You can tap on that and it will show how much space is being allocated to different areas to help you clean that up. Um, but in this tutorial, I want to kind of focus on just a few main things that you should have enabled. The first one on the list is iCloud Drive. Now you're going to want to make sure iCloud Drive is turned on and once you have it turned on you can tap on it and it will show you a whole bunch of different um, apps that can be synced through iCloud Drive. A big benefit of this is um, to make sure things like Pages, Keynote, the, the tools that you use a lot are synced. Um, the reason why is say you're working on a Pages document on your iPad and you go home and you have to charge your iPad or you prefer to finish your paper using a keyboard, um, you could go on any computer, it can be a Mac, it could be PC, anything that has a modern browser, you could go to iCloud.com and log in with your iCloud account and then you will be able to go in and access those files and continue editing them on the web. So you can type your paper and then save it on your computer and it will sync back to your iPad for the next day. So that's a very helpful thing just for managing files back and forth. Um, if you look on here, there's mail contact calendars and reminders. This is independent of your school mail account. So if you followed that previous tutorial and you set up your school mail account, um, those things are separate from what you see here. This here is more from um, it, it using your Apple ID as a separate email account. Um, scrolling down just a little bit, you want to make sure that backups are turned on. And if you tap on backups, you can even go in and do backup now. Uh, this is an important thing because your device will automatically backup if you have this enabled. If you ever have to have your iPad swapped out, maybe you broke yours or something's not working right and we need to fix it so we give you a temporary one, you just sign back in it with your iCloud account and you'll be able to restore it back to your last backup time. So that's using backups. And then the other one is find my iPad. Now remember, we don't control your Apple ID. That's all for you. But in the event that your device goes missing, you can log in um, through Apple's website and you can try and locate your iPad. As long as it hits a Wi-Fi access, you'll be able to see where it's at. Um, this is helpful if you lose it in school. This is also helpful you can send an alert to yourself if you can't find it in your house. It'll send a signal and it, it will alert you to its location. So please make sure that you have iCloud Drive turned on. Please make sure that backup is turned on and also find my iPad.